They filmed the dog show part, and, and uh, Jim Pittick and I came in, and the first day, um, they dressed us in tux, and they were going to have the e-electronic press kit, and then they showed us the footage of what they'd filmed of, of the dogs coming through and the woman being attacked by the dog, and then they said to us, uh, now, would you like to do the EPK thing now, or wait till you'd after you'd, you'd filmed? And Jim Pittick looked at me and said, well, if I don't know about Fred, but I just assume do it now since we're dressed for it. Because Jim had flown in from London. He was doing a series there all the way into Vancouver. And that night in the um, hotel room, he called me and says, Fred, they don't have us on the schedule tomorrow. I bloody well have to be back in London on Thursday. So they scheduled us. They got us in on, on Wednesday. And they moved all the extras around behind us. And they filmed us sitting there. And we didn't, we weren't watching anything, but Chris would come up and say, now here's the scene where the sporting dogs come in. Here's the scene, remember you saw this. Here's the scene. So we have to uh, just make it up. And, and Jim Pittick was so real that to this day people say, he's a real uh, Westminster dog show, right? I said, no, no, he didn't know anything more about dogs than I did. Um, and Chris did about two, one long take, and then he moved in a little for another long take. Uh, we did it about four or five hours, and uh, that was it. And that was the end of Jim. He flew back to London. And I had two more scenes that I did, like, on the Thursday night and then on Friday. Um, but that was it.